president of Bush Gardens and Water Country USA. Member Preview Day and the start of our 41st season. Did you miss us? Yeah! You know what? You guys are all an important part of our family, and we're happy to dedicate this day to you. So uh, we hope you enjoy uh, this morning's presentation. We hope you enjoy your day out there. Thanks for being with us. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I actually just got here yesterday. I'm new to the, uh, new to the Bush Gardens and Water Country team, but not that new. I actually worked here back in 2010 until 2012 as the Vice President of Water Country USA. So I'm pretty familiar with the Williamsburg Parks and I can't tell you how excited I am to be back here in Williamsburg and with you to celebrate today. Now, enough about me. Uh, we want to talk a little bit more about what's in store for 2016, but before I do that, Coca-Cola, uh, one of our uh, members and our partners. They're a big part of our family, and without them, we can't have events like this, our beverage specials that we have in the park, and extra fun like today's festivities. So they're very important to us. It's a refreshing partnership, and we appreciate everything that they do for us and for you. Now let's get started. Now in addition to celebrating you today, we're also celebrating the 15th anniversary of Ireland. Who can believe that? Uh, You can believe that in 2001 we opened this great area in the park. It's been a great enhancement and, and everybody loves Ireland. Uh, today's festivities also include, as part of the celebration, uh, Hampton's Ro Hampton Road's own The Fighting Jamesons. They're, they're set up right over here. They're going to be playing at 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m. today right here. So stop by Castle O'Sullivan and make sure you pick up your tickets. You definitely don't want to miss this show. All right, as you know, kids rule at Bush Gardens, and that's why we're dedicating this spring to family and fun and offering two weekends of kids' fun music at our Kids Sitter at Concert Series. So you'll be seeing names like Choo Choo Soul, Lori Bergner, Imagination Movers, and Kids Bop Live, my kids' favorites. So look for that later this spring. And in just a couple of weeks, our old buddy Jack Hanna, he's gonna be coming coming back for a visit for uh, April 2nd and 3rd and he's bringing some of his animal friends with us, ones that we love, ones that he loves. He'll have several shows each day and plus we're giving you an opportunity to dine with Jack so you'll hear more about that as well. Now how does a Glory at the Gardens weekend sound? Back after just a year hiatus we'll have a really great, great six great Christian music powerhouses headlined by Skillet and the News Boys. And to round out our concert series, Lee Greenwood, who sings Proud to be an American, will be joining us on July 4th as part of an action-packed July 4th weekend. We'll have fireworks on July 3rd, 4th, and 5th, and Lee Greenwood will be part of the festivities on July 4th. Sound good so far? Yeah. We're adding to our Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival. That's coming back, and we're adding to the delicious lineup. Now, thanks to the great feedback we received from our Facebook fans, we're adding two new offerings, Local Virginia and Hawaiian. We've already been taste testing. Our chef is not going to disappoint you. I promise it's going to be a great event. And as always, we're looking forward to bringing you another season of Hallow's Green. And of course, Christmas Town. planning many new experience for both of these fantastic events. You'll hear more about it as we get into the year and, and plans become finalized. Now we know how hungry and thirsty a day in the park can make you, and so you're not going to want to miss these next two enhancements we made to the park. Our first is Marco Polo's Marketplace in Italy. It's something you can't miss. It's going to feature dishes from Asia, Italy, the Mediterranean, Hearthstone oven pizza, 
chicken pesto panini. And how does a build your own cannoli bar sound? That's, that's where I'm going first. <laughs> Hopefully you get a chance uh, uh, to see a little bit of a sneak preview today, uh, but certainly next week when we open it, please stop by. This is a great opportunity to enjoy different dishes from, from uh, those three uh, countries. So next up, the Brauhaus, the craft beer room. This awesome brew room is going to feature 30 rotating craft beers. And one of the neat things about this place is that you're going to, for a limited time, you can purchase a personalized mug that will be there for you. Each time you come back, you'll be able to ask for whatever kind of beer you want, whatever's available, and be able to fill it up there. So please make sure you stop by and get your personalized mug. All right, now as only Bush Gardens can do, we're going to debut an all new show at the Royal Palace Theater beginning July 1st. All for One will be an action-packed show that will take a contemporary spin, action-packed spin, on the classic French tale, The Three Musketeers. The stage is currently being instructed, constructed, and when the show opens July 1st, the night sky will provide the perfect backdrop for this daring new show. In this classic French tale, the Musketeers will wow you in a thrilling, action-packed, daring tour de force, featuring performance duels to save the queen. All right, one final point before I wrap up. This year we're making your pass even more valuable. If you have a two-part pass during the spring, summer, and fall, we're giving you one single free, single day free ticket to give to a family or, or, or a friend. That's a value of up to $280. This is our way of giving something back to you. So we have to So as you can see, there's a lot going on in 2016. I think we have something for everybody for each weekend, for each day that we're open during this season. But you guys also want to hear about 2017, I bet, right? I thought so. So I'm going to bring up Larry Giles, and he's going to spill the beans. It's a top secret project, right? Everything we do in, in our work is top secret. I mean, look, top secret, <laughs> right? Well, I mean, you wouldn't even put top secret stuff in emails, would you? I mean, really? <laughs> so, uh, so, unfortunately, you know, I, I got some, you know, I, I know Dan DiPiazzo a long time and a lot of folks in marketing, great folks. But they, they somehow, I mean, they tricked us all. They, they came up, they were our buddy, they were, and we've been working on this project, and they had these hidden cameras. Have you guys seen these videos? Yeah. Have you seen them? I mean, well, I think we, do we have them on the, can, can we, you guys want to see them here? Austin, can you roll the, this, these unbelievable things they did? Try, try rolling the videos here. You've seen the you've seen the work they've done. Not good, not good. You know, Dan right now, you know, I, I've had a couple of our maintenance guys, he's a little tied up right now, so <laughs> let's do you guys you, since he's already revealed this part, you guys want to hear a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so one thing that's happening, something exciting is happening in New France. There is a big battle coming in New France. And the Vikings are coming. They're bringing their war machines, it's gonna be big and bad. Well, what kind of experience is that really gonna be? How do you, all you pass holders here feel about an eighth roller coaster? I was hoping about that. So, uh, what kind of experience would an eighth roller coaster be? You know, we've got some great coasters here, right? We got, you know, Alpen guys for Bolton, Tempesto last year. We got great experiences, and we try to do something very, very unique with every roller coaster we do. 
So what do we, how do we build a roller coaster? Well, we know we start with concrete in the ground, right? And then we start with a steel superstru substructure to hold everything up. And then on the superstructure, we're going to use a lot of nails and a lot of wood. I never thought I'd stand on the stage and say we're doing a wood roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be it's gonna be really great. It's gonna first thing we're gonna do is build this big wall around it. So we have tall wall. It's gonna we're gonna get another one of the other parks to pay for it, right? <laughs> terrain, a lot of uh, things we can use over there to, to work with the roller coaster. So as this wood coaster lifts up the hill, you're going to lift up and we're going to give you a little break. It's going to turn and then it's going to drop down one of the ravines, 75 to 80 feet. We're still working out the time final details. 75 to 80 feet, nice airtime hill, 56 degrees. We're going to actually, there's a, there's a service road that we utilize for uh, getting to the uh, uh, Lascoot ride. We're actually going to go under the surface road. The other great thing on the lift, as you lift up the hill, you're actually going to lift over the scoot ride. You're going to be able to wave to the people. Ride the scoot, they're going to go back underneath you. Right? We're really expecting a lot of great things out of this ride. Um, I believe our, our speeds are in the 50, almost approaching 50 miles an hour. It's uh, minute 30, 2,000 feet of track. Uh, we're partnering with a great company, Great Coasters. Yeah! We've got some fans here already. <laughs> and the neat thing about this coaster, the way we feel really good about it, is with the steel substructure and the wood superstructure, we get a little bit of both. You know, we got the stability of the steel and the rideability of the wood. Now, what does a wood coaster really ride like? Well, with all of our other coasters, you know, they're like Alpengeist, Apollo's Chariot, all have something in common. They all have rails, right? You ride on rails. What is a car like when it rides on rails? It's nice and tight. What is a wood coaster? There's no rails. Yeah, it's this out of control feeling. You're going down, you're flying through the woods. It's going to be really, really great. Now, like I said, I've got Dan DiBiazzo. He's a little tied up right now. And would you guys like to hear a little bit about the marketing side? Because I think in engineering, we can do marketing too, can't we? I mean, how hard, can, how hard is it, right? How hard really can it be? So with Dan in the... Ouch! Look at that. Very funny there. I think we heard enough from you. So he thinks he stole all the thunder, he thinks he spilled the beans, but I've got a few surprises of my own, by the way, that we're going to share. But first of all, let me just take a minute to thank all of you again for coming out and to thank you for your loyalty throughout the year. This is uh, my favorite day of the year. No matter what the weather's like, it's always great when we have our member preview day and we get to welcome all of our good friends back here and, and open this place up for the year. So uh, we're looking forward to a great day. Thank you all for coming out. Um, and how great is it to have David Cromwell back with us as well? Somebody who knows our hearts but also brings great experience uh, from our system. So we're really excited about uh, what we have in store from a leadership standpoint here over these next few years. So stay tuned to that. Now, let me give out a few of these t-shirts. This is from our new heritage line of shirts. <laughs> All right. Sorry. One more. Okay, we got three more. Can I hit a light? But you can buy them. Our 
merchandise team will be happy to sell you one. But they're a great line of shirts. Uh, we had a lot of success last year, um, and that you voted on uh, some of the designs you'd like to see this year. So, uh, so we look forward to that. So let's talk about 2017. Pretty exciting, right? We've got a wooden coaster. Very excited about that. Excited to have our portfolio. Larry mentioned a little something about the theme, uh, which is basically Vikings invading New France. Um, now, Vikings did invade Canada at some point. This is a little bit of a legend based off of that, so more to come. But that's kind of the theme that we're working on. And, you know, this is pretty uncommon for us to announce it this early. We've never really uh, been out this early. But what that does is it allows us to kind of share this with all of you and let you be co-creators with us in this attraction. So, Larry said a lot of details are still to be worked out. There's some things that may change. We think we can trust you with that. We think that you deserve to know. So we might come back at some point and say, well, maybe it's a little different than what we told you in March, but uh, we think you can handle that, right? Um, it's like the old uh, movie, what, A Few Good Men, where Jack Nicholson said, you can't handle the truth. We think you can handle the truth. We think you can handle it if we have to change something. But along the way, you're gonna get great opportunities to work with us, to participate, and to make this the world's first crowdsourced ride at any theme park. Yeah. So what does that mean? It means that over this next year, we're gonna have a series of surveys, contests, different ways for you to participate, to pick different elements of the ride, to pick uh, things that might be part of the queue experience, to contribute some things that you might see along the path of the ride or in the queue, maybe even create our advertising campaign. There's gonna be a lot of different ways in this next year that you're going to get to share your opinions, to weigh in, to maybe contribute to the whole ride experience. And along the way, we'll keep you updated as well. So Larry and his team have uh, committed that they're going to help us with frequent updates. So we'll do videos and photos and blog posts all along the way so you can track all the milestones in this great ride development. So you truly, will get to decide the ride. This will be your ride as much as it is ours, and it's going to start with the first opportunity today. And that first opportunity is, you're gonna help us pick the name of the ride. In fact, you're not gonna help us, you're going to pick the name of the ride. So here's how it's gonna work. Starting today, in just a few minutes after you leave here, we will have posted online, and you will have until April 1st to vote between three choices. Now, we narrowed it down to three because we had to make sure it would work, we had to make sure we could get legal clearance and all that, so it couldn't be totally open-ended. But we think we have three great contenders that really embody the thrill and the spirit of the ride. And those three contenders are... Viking Raider, Battle Clash, or Invader. So, <laughs> But that's great. If that's your opinion, you go for it. Now you can vote once a day from now through April 1st. We're trying to keep it fair so nobody can flood it too much. So one time a day, go on, vote for your favorite. You can go to our website. We have a special page set up. Maybe some of you have been following along already. Bushgardens.com slash project 2017. So that will be there, and you'll get to vote on those three choices. We'll also have this through Facebook and our social media. We'll also be pushing it out through email. And this is a good opportunity to remind you, who in here is not signed up to receive our email updates? Oh, you liars. <laughs> if that were the case, everybody would know everything. Well, let me tell you, even if, you're, if you think you're signed up, sometimes lists get cleaned and names fall off for one reason or another. If you haven't received an email from us in the past week or two, that means you're probably not on the list anymore. So please go in, make sure you update, make sure you let us know you're a past member and sign up because we'll be pushing out all of these opportunities through email so you'll get to know about uh, all of these as they open up. So, go on, vote for the names, and, and there's no monkey business here. This is um, really, um, whatever you pick is gonna be the pick. Uh, we're gonna tally the votes, we're gonna post it every day and let you know how your favorite is doing in the rankings. Um, but, you know, I have a favorite, David may have a favorite, others may have a favorite, it doesn't matter. What you pick is gonna be the name that's on the ride. So stay tuned, we'll know in a couple of weeks what that's gonna be and then we'll have some other great opportunities for you to participate along the way. 
Now, let me just make uh, one last point before we uh, go, and that is um, that David, the rest of our senior leadership team, we're going to be at the member picnic um, in the Black Forest uh, starting at noon. So if you've signed up for that, we'd love to say hello to you and just have a chance to visit. If you haven't, get on over there and try to grab up if there's any uh, remaining slots, but it's uh, probably pretty full at this point. But anyway, we'd love to talk to you there. But so many exciting things coming this next year. It's going to be an action-packed year. All the things we have in 2016 leading all the way up to this great new attraction, our new wooden coaster opening in 2017. We thank you so much for being a part of it and look forward to you picking the name and joining us in 2017. Thank you.